Welcome back guys, it's Season Play Crash here. Today we're back with another video on Scratch. And today we'll be making a Lunar New Year themed game for uh, Scratch. And if you do not know, today is Lunar New Year. Um, it might be Sunday for you guys, or another day. But for me, today is Lunar New Year. And basically, if you do not know what Lunar New Year is, it's basically a holiday where a family and friends gather up and they just give them uh, exchange money in red envelopes. So they have this red envelope and they have money inside and they give it to kids and other people to uh, for good luck. And it's just basically a holiday for us for a new year. So this year is the year of the dragon. So there's many different years um, and it's all different like animal or spirit. But this year is a dragon. So we'll be making a dragon themed Lunar New Year game today. So I'm I'm gonna show you how it works. So first, some Chinese music. I mean, Lunar New Year music's gonna play, and then the, the dragon is gonna follow the ball basically, and you have to gather all the money. So it's a pretty simple game, and it's just like you know, you're gathering money. Like uh, in real life, they'll have these red envelopes and stuff for luck, and yeah, you can see the dragon. Okay. So we're gonna make that game today. All right. So I have already put all my sprites in here, but it's really simple. The backdrop you can just get from online. Just download a backdrop, and then the ball. As you can see, we can get a ball from here. It's pretty simple, and you can just delete all these and change the color. So you can. As you can see, it's over here, and it's just a two-color variation. So something like that, or you can make this one, you know, orange. Or, yeah. So that's how we made the ball. Pretty simple. And this is our just original ball. The dragon, we actually got from online. And you can use remove BG, as I see over here. You can upload an image over here, and or drop a file. And you can remove the backdrop of, you know, um, a sprite that you can download from online and the red envelope uh we have many variations as you can see okay and these um images we got from amazon and we just got the picture and used remove pg to remove the backdrop and if you need any help with the backdrop you can just comment down below for uh us to help you on how to remove backdrops and we can make a tutorial if you guys do ask for it so let's start with the ball so when the green flag is clicked, forever, oh, go to mouse pointer. So just follow the mouse as you drag it along there. And we're using clones today, so we're going to create a clone of myself to add the visual effect of the ball. And then now, when I start as a clone, it will set size to 100%. Repeat 10 times, change size by minus 5, and delete this clone. So basically, it will make a whole trail of clones that are descending in size. So I'm going to show you right here. Uh, it gives that cool visual effect. See, look, um, the clones are descending in size and are behind one another. So that's the ball. Now let's work on the dragon. So the dragon's fairly simple as well. So when the green flag is clicked, forever. I'll also point towards mouse pointer. And I'll move five steps. So now we have the ball and the dragon. And it looks like the dragon's following the ball. And yeah, as you can see over there. Now we're gonna code the red envelope, which is the hardest part of the tutorial. So stick with me. So when the green flag is clicked, it will, we have to make a new variable, which we're going to name money. It'll set money to zero. And it will go to random position. After that, it'll set Y to 180. So it's going to be up here. And forever, you need to change y by minus 5. So it'll just descend towards the ground.
and you need an if then statement. So if then, you need a less than sign. If then y position, it's less than negative 170, which is down here. So if it's less than negative 170, then it'll go to random position and it'll set y to 80, 180. So it'll just be back, back at the top at a random position and it'll just continue falling down. So we need an if then, if then touching dragon, then it'll start sound pop and then it'll change money by and we did use pick random 1 to 10. We can obviously alter that to more or less money. And then after that, we're going to have next costume. It'll go to random position. So as you can see, when it falls down, if it touches the dragon, it'll switch the costume. It'll go to a random position. And as you can see, we have all these costumes. So we have six different variations in the envelope. And it'll set Y back to 180. So... Let's do that. And I do have a song. Um, but you can just take some songs from online. Does it really matter? So when the green flag is clicked. So I got this um, sound from online and it's on copyright. So you can get this uh, song. You can just find a song online, download it. And uh, when you click the sounds, you can do choose a sound and then click upload sound. And then you'll have uh, your downloaded songs in there. So when the green flag is clicked, so you can hear me, I put set volume to 50%, but that's optional. Forever, and it'll play the song. So there we have our Chinese New Year, I mean Lunar New Year game. Other countries also celebrate um, the New Year's, uh, Chi the Lunar New Year. So, uh, yeah, that's why I'm, it's Lunar New Year. So when the green flag is split, as you can see, I have the Lunar New Year music playing, and the dragon, which is the year of the dragon, and the ball, as you can see, as well as the money falling down. And I'm going to try to get all the money, and that's the objective of the game. So it's a pretty easy, simple game that you can make, and yeah, just collecting money for the Lunar New Year's. So. So in the description below, we also have a project so you can take the sprites and uh, do all of that. Take the sprites, remix it, whatever. So anyway, please like, share, subscribe, and comment in the comment section below what else games that you want. And comment how much um, lucky money um, or red envelopes that you got if uh, you observe the holiday of Lunar New Year's. And I'll see you guys next time.